And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Plenty of sunshine and low dew points made for an absolutely beautiful Sunday across the entire Tennessee Valley. Temperatures fell just a couple of degrees below seasonal norms. In many cases, we finished the day in the mid and upper 80s. 86 was the high this afternoon at Huntsville International, Athens, and Decatur. Each saw highs today of 87 degrees. Scottsboro saw 88. A little cooler, eh, Rab and Albertville? They only clocked highs this afternoon of 82 degrees. On the other end of the spectrum, Florence did actually manage to see the low 90s. They saw exactly 90 degrees. Our friends up in southern middle Tennessee, Pulaski, good evening. You saw a high this afternoon of 84 degrees. Fayetteville, you saw a high this afternoon of 87. While these temperatures are a bit below average, I don't want you to get too excited about fall weather just yet. Remember, we are 15 days away from the official start of fall, and we're still quite a ways away before we really begin to see that seasonal change in our weather pattern, especially as far as North Alabama, southern middle Tennessee is concerned. And remember, just because we're getting into the middle of September and then eventually into October, we can still have some incredibly hot days. That doesn't mean you shouldn't look forward to fall things. I've given you a couple 54 days until Halloween, 80 days until Thanksgiving, just 109 days until Christmas. And with all of that in mind, it is still going to be relatively cool through the overnight temperatures just at or just below seasonal norms. As far as a low temperature is concerned, I've got a low of 65 degrees. It's going to be a beautiful evening. And just like last night, I think you could safely leave your windows open through the overnight elsewhere across the Tennessee Valley. Low and mid 60s are going to be a common thing. Lower 60s up across southern middle Tennessee. The difference between tonight and last night, I think everybody is going to avoid the mid and upper 50s. Waking up tomorrow morning, mid and upper 60s, 65 at 6, 67 by 7, 70 by 8 a.m. It does look like we are going to continue to warm up from there. Could be a couple degrees warmer tomorrow compared to what we saw today. I've got a high of 88 here in Huntsville. Would not be the least bit surprised if some Somebody sees 89 or even 90 degrees. We'll be much closer to that mark on Tuesday when everybody heads back to work and school. Still plenty of sunshine. I've got a high of 89, but wouldn't be the least bit surprised if somebody sees 90 or 91 degrees. Then we're going to begin to talk about a change in our weather pattern as we get to the middle part of the work week. There's going to be a developing area of low pressure across the southwest. That is going to bring in a lot of warm, moist air across the southeast. But you notice this very strong divide between the yellow shading and the blue shading. That is a cold front. That cold front is going to eventually begin to push east. It brings opportunities for rain to the Tennessee Valley once we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But I don't want to play this forward for you because the models are still having a very difficult time to figuring out whether the cold front actually does move through the Tennessee Valley and actually cools us down. So if you look at the seven day forecast, you'll notice I've made some changes compared to what I showed you last night. I've now got a significantly warmer through the weekend, 87 on Friday, 85 on Saturday, 84 next Sunday. And then yeah, I do have better opportunities for rain a little later into the week, especially through Friday and Saturday, Kelly. Yeah, I really enjoyed my cool walk this morning, but I can't say that I'm mad about the warmer weather, so thank you. I'm not mad about the warmer weather, but like you, yeah, I do really enjoy the cool mornings. If we could keep that up, that'd be great. Yeah, it's a nice change. 